All right, check it out, guys. Here's what's funny. They gave me this super big package um, for a very, very small item. So watch this. There it is. Guys, the T-Outliner replacement blade for Andes. So I'm a big fan of the Andes um, T-Outliner. I've been using it for years, many, many years. The thing is real sturdy. It holds up. It's great. But the other day I dropped mine and uh, it chipped. So I bought a new one. So guys, I'm just simply going to say it's amazing. It's great. I've been using these for years. So this isn't a review. This is just going to be a how to replace this. So let's get into it. And now your mama knows. <laughs> So check it out, guys. I've had this for a very long time, and I went through a few blades over the years. They last forever, but unfortunately, I dropped it. So look at this, guys. Yeah. Look at the chip. I mean, it was older anyway, but yeah, dropped it on the floor, and that thing broke right off. So we're going to replace it. So we're going to need a Phillips. That's going to be pretty much it. So let me take this off. Let's get into it. All right, first things first, you're probably going to use uh, like a scissors to open this up. Uh, once you open this package up, it's pretty much ruined. It's two parts to this. So you got your bottom and you got your top, right? Um, and it's pretty simple, but I'll show you guys. First, we got to get this off. Let's take this out. Okay. Pretty simple. All right. All right. There we go. So you take this off and bam. The bottom parts fall off too. Um, I'm just going to clean it out since I already got it open because you'll have a little bit of hair under there. So hold on. All right. Nice and clean in there. I just brushed it out. This is the main thing is this little piece. This is what vibrates back and forth when you turn it on. Um, so you're going to take the two pieces and put it on here. So you're going to take this, right, which sits on top of there like that. And then you're going to take the new one, the top part, where they're both new, and it sits on top of it, right? And so they move together, and that's how they cut the hair. But let me assembly this. And I'm not going to mess with where it's sitting at. Uh, if you wanted to, you could actually mess with these screws right here. So if you felt like you needed closer or higher. Um, because what it's essentially doing is moving this blade, right? Uh, if you see underneath... You could actually mess with these and move this. And this is going to move the blade as far as on here. It adjusts where it's going to be at on there. Also, I'm going to show you how it lines up. So here's the top, right? These are the only screws that need to go in anything. The bottom looks like this, okay? So when it moves back and forth, it cuts like that. There's literally no need for you to screw anything in here. So don't get confused. Nothing goes inside of these holes, okay? Just so you know. It just, the pressure of it laying on this and the uh, piece being in here, that's going to move this back and forth. That's all you need to worry about. Um, and you could tell which side goes in what. So it's this side. And then if you flip it over, it's this side. This You could tell this side goes on the inside, right? So you flip it around, it's like a sandwich. They go together like that. And you can feel where the ridge actually stops on its own. Like I said, I already got mine lined up. So I'm just going to simply sit it on there. Like this. And I'm just going to push some force. Right? And as long as the holes line up. I'm going to throw them in there, and that's that. 
So I could use my hands and start to uh, start to screw them in on his own without the screwdriver. And then when I get the screwdriver, I'll tighten it. Now, because this thing is vibrating, um, you want to tighten it pretty good. But to be honest, I didn't even have it that tight. Like, I didn't have to put so much force to get it off. So don't think you have to put so much force. Now, I'm going to show you with it not all the way in. See how you see in there? So you can see the little piece in there, little plastic piece. So when it's done, it's going to push it down like that. You're not going to be able to see it anymore. See how you can see it? But I'm going to push it down, right? So that's what's going to happen when I tighten these screws. I got the screwdriver. Do one side a little bit. And do the other side a little bit. So it just be kind of like even. Alright, that feel really good. Alright, so I'm going to have to turn it on. Like as you can see... So it looked like it's off, right? Like one half is all the way off one side. But remember, it's going to turn and go left and right, left and right. And then this looks a little off because of um, the guard. But here, let me mess with it. See it? So you just have to make sure you straighten it and make it look straight. So let's do that. And it's pretty simple. You just take your finger... And just kind of push it so it lined up. See, it didn't take much. I Me mean, to just loosen it. I loosen it a little bit. And then I take my finger and then just push it. So you can see if you loosen it a little bit, then you got play, right? You can move, see how it's moving? You just get it to where it looked like it's level. So you can look at the back and always tell, right? Right? So look, see how you can move that? Right? See how it moves? You just move it and get it leveled the right way, and then you just screw it in tight. Let's see. That looks pretty good on top and bottom. I'm going to push it in tight and then screw it down. Um, let me look, let me look. I think that looks good. I think it looks good, guys. Now, it's time to turn this thing on and see. So, hold on. Alright, guys. Check it out. Ooh, you hear that? Oh, man, look at it. That thing sounds good. And they already comes with a little bit of oil. Woo, this thing is ready to rock. See? Now look. This thing is good. Ready to go. And that's it. It's ready to go. We'll give you guys a sample. So check it out. I'm going to do this live. All right? Mmm, look at that. See that? Look how sharp that is. Woo! You move the light. Look at that. Sharp. Let's check it out. Alright, check it out. Mmm, mmm. That thing is sharp. Here, let's do this. Look at that. Wow. That took that thing down. Alright, so I gotta fix my face because uh, half of my face is shaved, half of it isn't. 
Uh, that's good. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it. Um, that's how you install the blade for your T-Outliner, your, your Andes. And with that said, guys, I'm going to get out of here and now your mama knows. And now your mama knows. <laughs>